Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test, uh, practice test 2, I should say, question number 42. The question says, what is the closest to the area of the figure? And they give you this really weird looking figure. The thing that you should always make sure you do on the new tests anyway, is look at the little information that they give you about how much each square is worth. Now it says one square is worth four square units. That's a key component because whatever number that you count out to number of squares, you have to multiply by four or you're really going to mess yourself up trying to figure out how they got such huge numbers. My suggestion in this question, I mean you could break it down into parts and try to do the area of the triangles and everything. My suggestion is you count all the whole boxes that you can, count the halves and two halves would be a whole, and then just kind of guesstimate around. Usually the numbers are far enough apart to where you could feel comfortable doing it. So I'm going to count all my whole boxes and I'm just going to say in my heart that this one which is going to be five and six are good enough to be whole boxes. There's probably some makeup somewhere else that will cover for it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now if I just count whole boxes, and I know that each one's worth 4, because it says so right there, I get a number of 80 which is one of the choices, so it's really easy to dive on that. In most cases on this test, if you just count the number, go up to the next one up and it's usually the right answer. So based on that logic, I'm going to assume 86 is probably in the zone of the answer that I'm looking for, but because I have these extra pieces, these halves and things, the jagged edges on the side, it's probably not going to be exactly 80 square units, so I'm going to count the halves. So I've got maybe one, two more, so that gives two halves will give me one more so that's plus 20 so now I've got 21 and then I've got this one and this one that's somewhere in the 22 range and I'm gonna mark that out and then I probably have enough to where if I wanted to I could pull three but let's just do 22 times 4 and I get 88 so that 86 square units is a very reasonable guess in terms of what my answer gives me so count all the whole boxes usually go up to the next one especially in this case when they're sort of far apart make sure you pay attention to what the uh, information they give you beside the uh, the area itself and then just work it out and multiply and you should be fine so that's it